hello friends and alcoholic beverage connoisseurs i am a senior brewer and has been associated with brewing for more than 30 years my dream and all dedications are associated with brewing science and technology for the last one year i have been thinking every day every moment why shouldn't i share my knowledge and experience to excel people familiar with this science and art which has been innovated by our predecessors for their own fun and drink at least 5000 years back especially in Egypt and mountainous Chinese region in the Himalayan northeast region people are familiar to make this drink for their own festival and religious purposes today i will dedicate my first doing which is famous as tangba or kumba tangba is a millet based alcoholic beverage found in the eastern mountainous region of Nepal and the neighboring Darjeeling, West Bengal and Sikkim state. It is a traditional and indigenous drink of the Limbu people of eastern Nepal. This drink is culturally and religiously famous to the Limbus. Taplejung is the ultimate destination to get the drink. Offering Tungba is a symbol of respect to a guest among the Limbu community and also an important thing for special occasions and festivals. Many ingredients which are being used to prepare this drink is millet, locally called kodo yeast or mold and water. Tongba actually is the vessel which holds the fermented beverage. Cooking and fermenting whole grain millet. Cooked millet is cooled and then mixed with mold or yeast. It is called Kesel in the local language. The mass is placed in a container to ferment at room temperature and after two or three days of fermentation that depends upon the temperature of the local region the whole fermented mass is being placed in a container for maturation the sweet mass after fermentation is placed 
in a container and tightly closed with some lead to get maturation of the whole mass. After maturation is complete, the mellowness or sweetness of the drink developed. Then it is served especially in bamboo containers and the speciality of this drink is to add hot water in the millet based fermented product and a small bamboo stick is given to the guest to swallow the liquid fermented and enriched with alcohol that has been perforated in the bottom part and the millet grain will not suck to the consumer's mouth while drinking the drink and my first dedication and serving my career of home brewing is for the Himalayan people of the Northeast region and to other people who specially love to drink alcoholic beverages. Friends and alcoholic beverage connoisseurs. Uh, for the brewing process, sterilization is a must. So, the easy process of sterilization of the brewing or cooking vessel is to boil some portion of water in the vessel. Here I am uh, boiling some portion of water, some quantity of water. Sterilization is a very vital part because if you don't sterilize the vessel some unwanted microbes may come which will spoil your brew. So here I am sterilizing the vessel. The easy process of sterilization is to boil some quantity of water then to discard it. Then you can use the vessel for brewing. So the main process of brewing is the first portion of brewing is to use water measured quantity I will use 1 is to 5 that means one part of grain and five times of water of the grain here for odo or millet or rye brewing I am using one liter sorry 1 kg of millet and 5 kg or 5 liters of water that is also mineral water see here I will start brewing first I will add the millets I am using two types of millets one is foxtail and the other is kodo millet the water has reached in the meantime above 65 degrees centigrade now I am weighing the millets foxtail millet first then I will add 
the Kodo Millet. I am using a digital type balance here weighing the millet. See here it is nearly 494 gram. The temperature is increasing slowly. It is above 65 degree centigrade now. I am pouring the foxtail millet here with constant stirring. Then I am again weighing the Kodo millet. The Kodo millet I am weighing here. Just check the weight. It is also nearly 494 gram. 494 to 495 gram. I am adding also the Kodo millet here and stirring continuously and I am checking the temperature of the boiling mass with a digital type thermometer in centigrade scale see the temperature here it is above 90 degree centigrade it is now 94 degree centigrade and the boiling is complete for 60 minutes see the cook minute that has been done with kodo and oxtail millet. I have boiled it and get the grain gelatinized at around 90 to 95 degree centigrade. And now I will do what I will mix a yeast slurry. I have brewing yeast with me and in water I will mix I am uh, adding brewing yeast one sachet contains 15 grams I will make a slurry of yeast I am adding two sachets of yeast and I will mix the yeast in water Slurry has been prepared. Now adding, I am adding the yeast, whole yeast to the mass of cooked millet. Thank you. 
thoroughly mix it. This is what the yeast will do. They will the yeast cells will start fermentation of the fermented <coughs> portion alcohol will be developed the first stage of fermentation is aerobic that means in presence of oxygen what yeast will do yeast will generate carbon dioxide gas and in anaerobic condition the actual fermentation process will begin and during the fermentation process ethyl alcohol will generate by yeast side by side carbon dioxide gas also will be Generated. See, in, uh, especially <coughs> microbial fermentation, what is happening? Infection may come from the air. So, what I am doing? I am taking some ethyl alcohol in a cotton, and I will sterilize. Sterilize the fermenter lid. This is the fermenter which has been filled by myself, and you can also purchase fermenter from stores, from online stores, or from alcoholic beverage manufacturing units see how I am sterilizing with alcohol the fermentation lead now what I will do I will place the millet cooked millet inside the fermenter mixed with yeast slurry <coughs> after transferring the meat let total millet cook millet will be transferred <coughs> Transferring the <coughs> millet mixed with yeast inside the fermenter. In cooking process, during brewing, what is happening? The grain contains mainly starch starch is high molecular weight carbohydrate and during cooking what is happening by amylolysis process Degradation of starch, fermentable sugars, especially glucose, maltose, and 
maltotriose are synthesized or generated. transferred the whole mass inside the fermenter. Now I am placing the lid above the fermenter and this is the paint. During fermentation process carbon dioxide gas will generate and the first stage of fermentation is aerobic what i told earlier so i am opening this valve which can release the carbon dioxide gas generated during fermentation process and air also can go inside the so I will place the fermenter in a safe place and it will be kept there aseptically for 2-3 to three days of first stage fermentation. So this is part 1 and thank you my viewers to watch my first video of homemade beer or brew. Thank you for watching. Thank you friends. Thank you all the beer lovers and connoisseurs. Thank you. See the temperature of the broth. stage of fermentation will be at room temperature for getting faster fermentation see it is nearly 33 degree centigrade okay like share and subscribe to my channel and please wait to see more and more homemade recipes of alcoholic beverages which are coming shortly thank you friends